Hey, I'm Balin, the author of the Rack and Roll with Ember JS book. And in this short screencast, I wanted to show you how easy it is to convert the regular mustache invocation syntax for components to the new angle bracket invocation syntax. So the new syntax is this one. Uh, so we write the component call as if it was a regular HTML tag with uh, capital letters or uh, letter so it can be one word but it has to start with a capital letter whereas the the classical uh, master syntax would be uh, curly curly foo dash bar curly curly so uh, the application that i'm going to show this on is the, the rock and roll with ember js app and in this app we have a few forms that we are going to convert so Let's see, for example, there is a band form in there somewhere. So, okay, the musician form came up. So now let's start with the musician form. So this is the regular uh, mustache syntax for invoking it. The curly one is different. It starts with... Uh, the less than sign and then instead of the dash form you write musician form and it can be self-closing and then instead of so any component arguments must be passed with the with this sigil in the add sign so these are all component arguments musician pre-selected bands and after save and then we have to pass the actual values if they are dynamic in curly curly so that's still of course the dynamic uh, replacement so select the bands here that's it okay the template print errors are gone so now if we go to musician, let's do that manually, musicians new, then yeah, it, it should still work. Uh, so that's one, one of them. Let's see the, the band form. So the band form is actually, let me show here. The band form is rendered here, so this is when I click edit, this is the, the form for the band. So that's on in the edit templates of bands, band edit. We see the band form is invoked like that, so that's even simpler because we just have to replace one single component argument. So again, I have to use the sigil, the at sigil and then that goes into curlies and that's a self-closing one okay and there is a, a user form also on the settings page so again this is quite straightforward Same thing, and it should still work. All right. Let's now see a case where the component also yields out some value. So there is a block parameter for the call. And for this, we are going to use uh, the power select component call, which is here, so the, these are both uh, power selects from the Ember Power Select add-on. So the way to do that is really similar, like that's going to be the same here, and we need the add sign in front of all of these, except for this one, because this is an HTML attribute that's going to be applied on the tag um, of the component so that does not need uh, the add sign and that's uh, I think a great advantage of 
this angle bracket invocation syntax because you can see at a glance which ones are component attributes and which ones are HTML. Sorry, component arguments and which one are HTML attributes. So that works. We have to convert the curly to this call. And now we do not close this, but instead that's going to be just as before. And now the curly is And instead of parentheses, because we had curlies uh, for the call, for the actual component call before, and thus the parentheses for the on change action call, now that's going to be curlies too. Let's see if that has worked. Yeah, it seems like it did. Okay. What the angle bracket invocation syntax also enables is to have single word component names. So with the, the curly curly invocation syntax, you have to have a dash in the name. Uh, so for example, here I have this star rating component that I invoke uh, thusly. And with the new one, with the angle bracket one, I could have a component called just stars and then invoke it like that, which is pretty cool. Uh, let's actually see if that works. So it's no longer star rating. Class is an HTML attribute, so we don't need the at sign. Rating and on click are component arguments. And again, since I'm passing a dynamic value, we have to have the mustaches in there. So that's interesting. Stars is underlined. Oh, closing tagline. Okay, because I have to close it. Okay. So now that should be good. But of course, we have to rename the, the component itself uh, so that we can invoke it as stars. So let's see, components, star rating. And let's rename it to stars here. And also the component itself. So that should also be stars. All right. Okay, the warning is not about that. And it seems like it has just worked, which is amazing. I mean, it's amazing to, to have that in the template. That looks really, really cool. So that's it. I really encourage you to give it a try, to give angle bracket components a try. I think the, the two best things about them is that it's easy to parse their call. Uh, like I said, whether it's an HTML attribute or an argument of the component, and also that you can have single word components, which in some cases might be more natural. Uh, you can use this invocation syntax starting from Ember 3.4 here, but there is also a polyfill, which uh, makes it possible to use it all the way back to Ember 2.12. So, yeah, thank you for your attention. Goodbye.